Hello Capricorns and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so we're going to jump right into your reading. We're going to see what's going on with you. Okay, let's see what's going on with my Capricorns. If you are new to my channel, hey, and hello to all of my new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Come on in, you're going to love it here. Okay, Capricorn. Alright, you got the Eight of Swords. Okay, you got the Six of Wands in the reverse. We're going to take that in the reverse because that definitely came out in the reverse for you. Okay, I feel like you're thinking a lot about a situation that you really want to move away from that you're not moving away from because you think that it may be challenging for some of you. It's like you're really very much so stuck in your head about some things here. You're very much so thinking about certain situations. Yeah, the nine of wands, I feel like you're trying to be strong. You're trying to just go with the motions here. You're trying to figure out how to overcome this challenge, even though you know it's something, um, I feel like it's something that you can handle. Okay, I feel like you're putting yourself in a situation where you're thinking too much about it. And it's just like it's causing more of like an anxiety stir for you. I don't think I think you should just just go with the flow. OK, for some people, it's just like you want to change a situation or you want to move forward from a situation, but you're not doing that. It's like you're very um, you're allowing yourself to get comfortable in an uncomfortable position for some of you. All right, and it's time for you to release that um, those bondages. Move yourself away from these swords. Put these wands down, okay? And turn that six of wands upside down. If it's a situation you want to leave from, some of you may be thinking about moving, okay? And you're kind of hesitant in regards to moving. You're kind of feeling some type of way in regards to, you know, taking this chance, taking this leap of faith. You may be a little bit afraid. It is a little bit scary at first, but for some of you, I feel like you're just... You're in a situation where you know that it's something that you want to um, confront or it's something that you want to um, handle, but it's just like you're just not, you're not doing that, okay? But for some of you, maybe just refusing to give up on a situation. I feel like you're refusing to move forward from a situation here. Yeah, the magician. I feel like you're trying to manifest a different outcome. I feel like you're trying to call in a different outcome here. You're trying to pray for something different. You're trying to make something different happen for yourself. Okay. And, you know, the law of attraction is real. There's things that you can bring in. There's, you know, you can manifest pretty much anything that you want to manifest. But I feel like there are some things that are trying to get your attention in regards to whatever it is that you're trying to manifest here. You can be trying to, you know... I don't know. It's just like something that you're trying to call in, but at the same time, you're afraid to move forward. You're afraid to take that leap of faith. Okay. Yeah, the judgment. It's like, what are we doing? Are you doing it or are you not doing it here? I feel like that's the energy that you have. And I feel like you kind of wake up and give yourself like little pep talks or something. You may talk to yourself in the mirror, like, okay, girl, we can do this. We're going to make it happen. Or, okay, my man, we got this. We're going to make this happen. We're going to work this out. We're going to do it. But then when it comes down to actually doing the movement, you just get a little bit caught up here. But I feel like there are some things that's also going to be manifested that were determined already by God, by the universe, by whoever you consider the creator and the higher source to be. But you have to get out of your own head in regards to it. All right. Something may scare you. Something may definitely be um, scary here. Yeah, it's you got the Six of Pentacles, so I feel like you're trying to, you know, weigh the options. You're trying to figure out what's the best way to go about this situation. You're trying to be very, very logical here, and I feel like you you don't want to be in a position where you're going to be needing help from someone, or it's like, yeah, seeking help and maybe trying to figure out, like, the best way to go about it. You're meditating on it. You're thinking about it. You're taking your time with it. You're definitely being... Um, I feel like you're very like weary in a way like it's just like don't question it capricorn if it's something that you want to do go ahead and go for it all right go ahead and go for it you may need help from some people you may need help from god from the universe you may be seeking counsel in regards to whatever this is okay for some of you if you're trying to leave a relationship or trying to leave um a marriage I feel like there's going to be someone who's going to be able to step in and um, try to help you out here. I do feel like there can be like a counselor involved, maybe some therapy involved as well. And, you know, you're just trying to figure out the best way to move forward because some of you want to take a break from a situation. 
some of you want to take a break from a situation what is the situation that capricorn is looking to move away from and what is the situation on capricorn's mind what is the situation on our capricorn's mind justice so it's just like something about being fair like you don't feel like something is being fair something's not playing out right here there's also a message in regards to like accountability and holding yourself accountable for certain actions that you've done or certain situations that you've put yourself in but i do feel like you're trying to like hold down on hope with the situation as well it's like you're trying to very much so like give this situation a chance like you're trying to give someone a chance here I feel like you you feel like maybe walking away from this situation is going to be like something that hurts somebody. So instead of doing what it is that you want to do for you, you're trying to make sure that you're, you know, being a guided light and being like pouring into other people as well. It's like you want to pour into yourself. You want to do the things that you want to do, but you also don't want to let anyone down. Yeah, because you're emotional. This could be a love situation. This could be you maybe wanting to leave a relationship, but you're afraid. Or not even afraid, but it's just like you're definitely contemplating on it because it's like you don't want to seem like it's a selfish situation, even though you may know that this isn't selfish. For some of you, I feel like you know that the situation isn't selfish. It's a matter of you just giving yourself some love, giving yourself some, you know, that energy that you wanted for a while. It's not a thing about being selfish. I think it's a matter of you just trying to figure out a common ground here. And it's like, it's like, you may be talking to somebody about the fact that, okay, I want, I'm, I don't know if I can keep going with this anymore. I don't know if I can keep making this okay. Like, I don't know if I can just keep letting these things happen. Like, this is not okay for me. And this person can be maybe coming in trying to balance some things out with you, maybe trying to talk to you about how they can turn some things around, okay? Maybe trying to work some things out here. They can be talking to you about some of the actions that they've done. Maybe, like I said, taking accountability. This can be the person as well, maybe taking accountability for some actions that, have, that they've done that are making you feel like you have to walk away or making you feel like you want to leave, okay? And now they're trying to turn some things around here and give you all types of love and maybe give you some hope in regards to this relationship. I feel like you had to take a moment to step back and try to assess the situation here. I feel like you definitely took a moment. Yeah, Eight of Cups. It's like, this person doesn't want you to walk away. But at the same time, I feel like you feel like it's necessary for your growth. I feel like you know that there's a situation here that's no longer, you know, you've given this person like, chance after chance after chance after chance and like each time I feel like they just like maybe disappointed you maybe let you down here maybe felt you like maybe made you feel some type of way but then it's like now that you're talking to them about walking away and leaving now they're like hold on wait like I can fix this I can change like I can make this better okay yeah they're trying to build a solid foundation with you I feel like there's going to be some communication that's going to happen I feel like they're going to talk to you about some things that, that you've been or this could be you as well I feel like you're trying to work together with this person and like you're trying to talk to them about all the things that you've been holding in for a while. I feel like you've definitely been putting up with some things here and just been trying to like make it to home base here. Like it's like you're trying to hold out because you may have invested time and energy and whatever with this person. But at the same time, I feel like there is something that's going to cause you to have to have this conversation. Okay. It's like you guys are trying to figure out the best way to um, to build something up here. But you're trying to find the best way to build it up because it's a matter of staying or going. Okay? For some of you, I feel like you've already booked your flight and this person is like realizing like, okay, this place, like my Capricorn is not playing. Like they want to leave, they want to move. I feel like some of you already moved forward. Yeah, this person has gotten like very clear in regards to some things here. I feel like they can be doing some self-evaluation, trying to figure some things out. And I feel like they do want a successful like movement with you. But at the same time, I feel like they're kind of all over the place. 
all right i feel like their emotions may be all over the place this could be maybe a third party situation that you found out about or this could be something where it's just like there just wasn't no balance like i just feel like you kind of were handling the bulk of everything like you both work but when you came home it's like you're cooking you're cleaning you're taking care of the kids you're doing all of this stuff you're holding everything down and this person wasn't really helping you and it's just like you got to a point where it's just like bro like what are we doing like i'm so tired of feeling like i'm if i'm if i'm gonna be in this relationship by myself i'm gonna just be by myself and i feel like that communication is definitely needed if it hasn't happened already all right i feel like you might have also gotten some advice from some people who maybe have been talking to you and telling you like you need to just talk to him you need to tell talk to him or talk to her and tell them how you feel like just be straightforward tell them that you're exhausted like tell them that you're stressed out it's just like your people are behind you motivating you and pushing you towards like an energy of where you're feeling successful and free and happy and where you're just like able to actually walk away if you really want to for some of you i feel like you really want to for some of you i feel like you're talking to this person about walking away because you want them to change like you want a cycle to change here you're tired of trying to carry everything on your own it's like you want things to to work in balance it's like you just want some teamwork here okay or you just want some reciprocity you know, it's like, it's me, it's a surprise to be. <laughs> I feel like that's your energy, Capricorn. All right. But whoever this is, I feel like this person doesn't want you to give up on them. Like, this person doesn't want you to um, abandon the relationship. I feel like they still want you to have hope in them. I feel like they're still trying to prove to you some things. But for some reason, I'm also feeling like they got a lot to show okay yeah seven of pentacles and a page of pentacles yeah you're thinking about all the time and energy that you've invested with this person or with this job with this situation with whatever it is take it as it resonates okay i feel like you guys have definitely um built up a lot of time you spent a lot of time together so for you it's like for some of you, I think you're thinking about like, dang, like if I walk away now, like this is just going to be so much time that I just wasted. Like I feel some type of way about wasting all this time with this person. Like, let me just try to figure it out. But then for some of you, you got the page of Pentacles. It's just like, I don't mind starting over from scratch. Okay. I don't mind starting over from scratch. If I have to walk away, I have to walk away. Okay. I feel like you're kind of teeter-tottering with your emotions here as well. For some of you, you're teeter-tottering with your emotions. Yeah. You're trying to be patient, temperance trying to be patient you got Sagittarius energy here Libra energy here water fire or like take it as it resonates but I feel like there's a thing where it's just like you're kind of teeter-tottering with your emotions because you're trying to be patient and you're trying not to give up so quick you're trying to still have hope because you may definitely care about this person you have five of pentacles I feel like there's a situation where you're kind of afraid to just like either be alone or this person doesn't want to be alone like they're afraid so i feel like they're coming in trying to maybe you know turn some things around here because i feel like once they once you leave they're gonna be so lost without you they're going to be so lost without you and they already be feeling like that but they got the hangs being in the reverse so i feel like their whole thing is just like You're trying to get them to see the world differently. You're trying to get them to change some sort of something that they're doing, but they're just not going to change their point of view here. This person can be very stubborn, this person who you're dealing with. They can be very set in their ways, stuck in their ways. They think this can be things that they've learned growing up, some traditions that they have within their family, their religion, um, whatever it is. Yeah, this person's stubborn. Okay, you got the emperor here. This person's stubborn. This person can be also controlling. This person can also be maybe feeling themselves a little bit when it comes down to how they've come up. So it's just like, for you, I feel like you don't need this person. Financially, emotionally, like, I feel like you don't need this person. I feel like you just care a lot about this person. You don't have no problem walking away. But it's just like, y'all, I really care about you and I've invested time with you. I've invested energy with you. Like, why we just can't work this out? Like, turn some things around. Let's both get a new perspective when you're talking to this person. Like, I need you to get a new perspective in regards to how we go about handling this relationship, how we go about working together, how we go about, you know, giving each other love, showing each other love here. I need you to kind of let down some of your walls. This person can also be very guarded as well. All right. 
this person can be very guarded as well yeah three of swords there's some heartbreak here this person can be just like kind of mean and kind of cold to you but then it's like once you say that you're gonna leave once you say you're gonna walk away it's like hold on wait wait a minute okay <laughs> wait don't go nowhere and I was thinking about it last night. Remember, like, if you ever seen Martin, there's a scene there's a, in one of the episodes where Gina was like, I, yeah, I'm leaving, Martin. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. And Martin was like, go on, Gina. Go on, step. Get the stepping. You know, he was going all in. <laughs> and as soon as she turned towards the tour, he was like, Gina, no. Gina, no. Don't go. Like, I feel like this is like that energy. Okay, but you're tired of being patient here. You're tired of holding out. What is the advice for our Capricorns? What is the advice for our Capricorns in regards to this situation? What is the advice for our Capricorns? Six of Cups and the Chariot. Okay, so I do feel like this is somebody, like I said, you spent some time with them. This can be somebody who you've known for a while here, but I feel like you need to get control of the situation. Like there needs to be a, there needs to be a conversation that has to happen and it has to happen quickly. I feel like because for some of you, you already are like halfway, got one big toe out the door. Okay. It's like you got one big toe out the door. Okay. I feel like this person may be also trying to talk to you like, yo, oh, like trying to bring up memories. Like remember that time? Like, you guys be reminiscing, maybe talking about, like, situations here. But it's just like, no, I don't want to keep remembering the time. Like, let's make better times now. And it's like, let's be in control now. Okay? Let's figure out which way we're going now. All right? Let's try to be straightforward here. I feel like the patience for some of you has run out. And it's time for you to just be very direct in what it is that you want with this person. Okay? All right, Capricorn. I hope this resonated. If it did, go ahead and leave a like on this video. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see y'all in the next video. Take care.